in our Orlando Bureau. Katie, a decent day yesterday. I think for you, though, today it's going to be more rain and the potential for severe weather also exists. It's not cool. Yeah, no, nobody wants to deal with this. Nobody wants to deal with the severe weather, and we've got a lot of people out on the roadways, places to go, and everybody knows in Florida, here's the funny thing, anywhere you go is going to take about 20 to 45 minutes. That's normal. So when you're driving in weather like this, it concerns me a bit because the roads are going to be so slick with some of the rain, and I don't mean slick like you're going to slide around. I just mean it can get detrimental with all that rain falling very quickly. And have you seen I-4? People fly. So if you're in Florida and you're going to be taking I-4, I want you to go slow today guys and for good reason look at your screen and you're going to see a lot of this rain moving through the panhandle is going to be affected first a lot of you guys are on spring break aren't you Mm hmm. Yeah, I can't say today's going to be the best beach day. I would tell you to play board games. I don't think that's cool to do on spring break, but what do I know? All right, look at Orlando and Tampa. Uh, Jacksonville's going to get pretty wet, too. My point is find something fun to do indoors. You're going to need it uh, because as this moves through, it'll last well into lunch, dinner and even uh, later hours into the night. Orlando, you're really going to get hit hard around 9, 10 o'clock tonight. So if you sleep well with rain, you're going to sleep like a baby. But it's the thunder and lightning that concerns me, but more so the damaging wind gusts. These storms are going to pack a punch. Lunch, all right, and not just for Florida. We're looking at Georgia and South Carolina too. So my friends in Charleston, uh, I'm thinking about you because it's going to be intense. Back to Florida though, the severe storm threat is enhanced for Orlando, Tampa and Fort Myers. And this is really a concern to me because everybody was under that possible threat yesterday. Now it's that likely threat. So it's gone from level one to level two and any threats a big deal. All right. So as you look at the severe storm threat, it even enhances itself uh, really just a possible I say just any threats a threat. You know how I feel about that uh, into Montgomery through Albany, Macon, Augusta, Columbia and Charleston. Even in the North Carolina's uh, area, you could see the southern tier there under that possible threat for severe storms. So from Florida to the Carolinas, we're going to be watching it. The flash flood threat goes from Panama City all the way over to Jacksonville, Ocala, Cedar Key, Orlando and Sarasota. All right, and all points in between. So. I'm really uh, concerned because the amount of rain we're going to see, especially in the panhandle to Jacksonville, it's about two to three inches, three to five in select spots. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.